Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Earlier in this week, uh, with the legal tampering period, Jameis Winston signs the one-year deal in Cleveland and takes the backup role there, leaving an open spot in New Orleans. We talked plenty about that through throughout the week and, and what that might mean and what direction the Saints might go in. And no matter if it was me talking to you, if it was somebody we had on, to, on the show and asking them, the consensus was the Saints need to go out and, and get a veteran. They can't just leave Jake Hayner as the the lone backup quarterback. And for what it's worth, yes, you have Taysom Hill. And the Saints have regularly kept three quarterbacks uh, as of late. And the backup quarterback has been a very important role in New Orleans really for the last five years or so. I mean, it's it's been extensive, the, the usage that a backup quarterback has gotten with the New Orleans Saints. So it was very, very, very important. The other caveat is the list of options dwindled fast and it wasn't really that plentiful to begin with. But the New Orleans Saints today did in fact sign a quarterback. Nathan Peterman is expected to be a member of the New Orleans Saints. He checks a few boxes. He's started games in the league, not at a you know uh, regular pace. Uh, the results haven't been great, but... We'll get into that, but it is a guy who has in this uh, in this type of scenario had to go in for injuries. He has experience backing up Derek Carr, spending two years in Las Vegas uh, with the Raiders. Well, when he was with the Bears, his most recent stop, he worked with uh, now Saints quarterback coach uh, Andrew Janoco, who was also the quarterbacks coach for the Chicago Bears. So you have that tie. So bringing him in. Makes a lot of sense. Now, what does this actually mean for the Saints? That's another thing. Because we mentioned right there the production and the limited action that Peterman is, has had hasn't been great. I mean, you're looking at six years so far in the NFL, two with Buffalo, two with the Raiders, two with Chicago. He was, uh, of course, quarterback at Pittsburgh. Most, uh, most famous moment in college was the upset over Clemson. Uh, in one of their national championship seasons, he had a monster, monster day. Uh, was was thought to you know kind of be in the second wave of quarterbacks in the draft, and, and ultimately was drafted by the Buffalo Bills um, in in twenty seventeen and started his career. Then again, two years in Buffalo, two years in Vegas, two years in Chicago. He's appeared in fifteen games with five starts, and it. I mean. Maybe the most famous moment for him in the NFL, unfortunately, is the five interception game. That's what a lot of people remember him for. So what is his role with the New Orleans Saints? Because we talked about it. That's been a very important spot for them, backup quarterback. And what they've really normally done is you've seen them bring in guys that have had um, lengthy experience as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Think Teddy Bridgewater. Think Jameis Winston, right? That's not Nathan Peterman. So this is clearly them bringing him in to compete with Jake Hayner, which makes a lot of sense. You spent a fourth round draft pick on Jake Hayner. He came here uh, last year out of the draft with a bunch of fanfare and a bunch of uh, you know eyes on him. Remember all the Drew Brees comparisons, as ridiculous as that is? And again, it's not any knock on uh, Jake Hayner. It's just you're comparing anybody to a Hall of Fame quarterback when they haven't taken a snap in the NFL is ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, I mean, that was part of it with him. So you obviously have a lot invested in him. And when you look at the two side by side, and again, it's probably not fair to compare the two numbers wise, because, I mean, you're looking at a six year guy in Peterman who's played in 15 games and started five and Jake Hayner, who has one preseason under his belt. Didn't appear in a game, was inactive on game day most of the time last season for the New Orleans Saints. But I want to do it for this reason only. If you do compare them, you look at Hayner in his one preseason, he completed 52.7% of his passes for 395 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. 
If you look at Nathan Peterman through the 15 games, five starts that he's gotten, a completion percentage of 53%, 712 yards, four touchdowns, 13 interceptions. You can look at that and be like, they're similar. But again, the sample size is not anywhere close. The reason I do that is to tell you why it's important for Jake Hayner to win this battle for the New Orleans Saints. Because he has the upside. Let alone everything you've invested in him, which we just went over. But he has the upside. He came in highly touted out of Fresno State. Had a great career there. But you look at a guy, but when you compare him like to Nathan Peterman, you can see some similarities there. Sample size smaller. Peterman, more known commodity. The upside's kind of gone there, isn't it? It's not for Jake Hayner. That has to be the ultimate goal for the Saints. They don't just want to give him the job, which understandable. The experience level isn't there. He's never played, taken a snap in an NFL game. Do you really want his first snap in an NFL game to potentially be Derek Carr goes down and I mean, that you're, you know, division rival in town or maybe you're on the road and he has to go in there tight game. No, that's not what you want. And Albeit in that spot, it might actually have been Taysom Hill that got the role anyway. But you bring in a guy who has experience in the NFL to compete against him and see if he can beat him out. And if he can do that, that's the first step with you feeling comfortable putting him in to a football game, potentially in a very tight spot. So it's going to be a veteran league minimum deal for Nathan Peterman. That's great. One year, that's fine. And bring him in to really compete and push Jake Hayner and see if he can win this job. Because ultimately, that has to be the scenario the Saints are after because of the upside that Jake Hayner presents. As opposed to what, we're, what we know Nathan Peterman is. So, like the signing, again, not maybe what we've seen them do at backup quarterback, but it's because they ultimately want Hayner uh, to take the reins. So, Saints have their backup. You're looking at a quarterback room now. With Derek Carr, Nathan Peterman, Jake Hayner, and you, uh, you know, you'll get Taysom snaps there, also. But that'll be mainly in his in his Taysom Hill role. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. We, we've seen them do the thing where it's, you know, the backup goes in immediately, uh, if in case of an injury, and then you, you know, you prep Taysom the rest of the week. That I don't; those days are gone. So, I mean, you'll get him snaps, but it'll mainly be in his Taysom Hill role. So, that part is checked. Another addition for the Saints here in free agency to go along with the Willie Gay signing we talked about last week, and uh, we'll see we'll see where they go from here. Uh, for what it's worth, we now officially know uh, Nick Underhill uh, with the report earlier today that Chase Young will have his meeting with New Orleans on Friday, so maybe that is the next step. Maybe it is getting Chase Young, and that would certainly feel uh, pretty splashy if they do. A guy who was a number two overall pick, a guy who... Uh, Yes, it suffered some injuries, but coming back looked pretty healthy this year, both with the Commanders and the 49ers, and equaled some of his stats from his rookie year where he was the defensive rookie of the year in the NFL. So there's definitely uh, plenty of upside left there and somebody else who would make your defense younger if you can get him. So that's the next thing you're really keeping an eye on. Chase Young will meet with the Saints on Friday. Nick Underhill with that report per sources. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.